In this video, we're going to teach you how to set up a strategy for automatic execution with an entry target, profit target, and cut loss target all in one. So we're going to be setting up three orders. First is our entry target to buy on breakout if the price goes above one peso. Next is our profit target to sell all our shares if the stock goes above 1 peso and 20 centavos. And finally, we're going to be setting up our third order, which is our cut loss target in case the stock falls below 90 centavos. Let's see this on a chart. For this example, we're using PHA. Right now, the stock is at 91 centavos. You want to buy on breakout if it goes above 1 peso. Take our profits if it goes above 120 and cut our losses if it goes below 90 centavos. First, let's set up our entry target to buy on breakout if it goes above 1 peso. So we go to conditional orders and tell the platform to watch for when the last price is greater than or equal to 1 peso. And once this condition is met, we want this to trigger a buy order to buy a thousand shares at the ceiling price so that we are automatically executed immediately. Next, we set up our profit target. Using conditional orders again, we tell the platform to watch out when the last price is greater than or equal to 120. Once this condition is met, we want to sell at the floor price so that we are automatically executed immediately. Finally, we set, our, we set up our cut loss target. Using conditional orders, we tell the platform to watch for the last price when this is less than or equal to 90 centavos. And once this condition is met, we go back to the general tab because we wanted to trigger our limit order to sell a thousand shares at the floor price. Again, so that we are automatically executed immediately. And once we set up those three, we have three separate orders, a pending buy on breakout, a pending profit target, and a pending cut loss target. Let's see this all in action. First, let's set up our buy on breakout strategy. So let's go to conditional orders. We want our order to trigger if the last price is greater than or equal to one peso. And once this condition is met, we want our limit order to buy 1,000 shares at the ceiling price of one peso and 36 centavos to be sent. So let's set this up now. Confirm. As you can see, we now have a pending trigger to buy PHA on breakout. Now let's set up our profit target. So let's create a sell order. Let's go to conditional orders because our profit target is when the last price is greater than or equal to one peso and 20 centavos. And once this condition is met, we want a limit order to sell all our shares to sell at the floor price, 0 0.46 to be sent. So let's set this up now. So now we have another pending trigger order to take our profits when the price goes above 120. Finally, let's set up our cut loss order. So we want to sell when the last price goes below our cut loss target of 90 centavos. Now, as you can see, the current price is 87 centavos. So this should trigger immediately. Let's see this later. So we want our order 
to sell 1,000 shares at the floor price, 0 0.46, once our cut loss point is met. Let's see what happens when we set this up. So right now, we have three pending trigger orders. The next trade of PHA should trigger our stop loss, and there it is. We immediately have a rejected order because we don't yet own any shares of PHA. So because of this behavior, we're able to set up a complete trading strategy 